Here are two high-achieving students. Both of them just graduated high school. Both of them are at the top of their graduating class. Both of them are from the same racial background. However, the green student is from a higher income background, while the red student is from a lower income background. Both of them will go to college, but once they get there, the red student is at a much greater risk of dropping out. Of America's high-achieving students, lower-income students are 30% less likely to graduate from college than their higher-income peers. This is a college graduation gap, and it means that some of the brightest students in our country are missing out on the benefits of higher education. So how do we close the gap? It turns out that where these students go to college has a huge effect on how likely they are to graduate. The green student is much more likely to go to a selective school where almost everyone graduates. The red student is much more likely to go to a less selective school where many students don't graduate. But when the red student goes to a more selective school, he is more likely to graduate. In fact, the more selective the school is, the more likely he is to graduate. When lower income students go to the most selective schools, the graduation gap disappears almost entirely. The problem with closing the college graduation gap isn't getting students into college, it's getting them into the right college. If we can get the red student into the selective school, we can close the gap.